These are the documents that Smiley brought me. Better take them. John Fard? That idiot Smiley used the first name he thought of to falsify these documents. Knowing him, I should have checked them out before giving him the money. But apart from breaking his nose, there isn't much I could have done. I need to leave this state as soon as possible. And I definitely don't have time to redo the documents considering that I need a photograph for them to be useful. That could be helpful. I don't have any idea what I could do with it, but I'll take it anyway. I'm in the middle of nowhere with a stolen car and a girl that I don't even know. What a great situation. What do you want, stranger? Is this your place? Yes. And the rifle I keep in my hands as well. I see that there's a warm welcome in this house. My friend, this place sees mostly farmers and truck drivers. And I don't like you, your little friend, and that guy who came in a while ago. I'm just passing through. I hope it. City slickers don't do well here. I have to go. Okay. Mars Gas Station. If it weren't the only gas station open at this hour, I'd definitely have blown right past. I don't like this place. It's the car I used to get here. Considering who I stole it from, I don't think it'll be reported as stolen. An oil lamp. Hmm, it's a sort of photographic set. There are some wires running under the platform. This stuff probably needs to be plugged in. Hmm, it's a sort of photographic set. There are some wires running under the platform. This stuff probably needs to be plugged in. It's a rain tank. A cornfield. It's in bad shape. Most of the plants are dry or rotten. You again, stranger? Is that cornfield back there, yours? Did the Winchester send you? No one sends me. Who are the Winchesters? Sons of bitches who bought the farm back there a few months ago. You don't seem to like them that much. Nah, they're good for nothing. You just have to look at how they keep their farm. The only thing they know how to do is drink and smoke on the porch. And why should they send someone to ask questions? Because the other night I shot one of them in the ass. Those bastards, after dusk, they come to the back of my gas pump and they start playing with their guns. They shoot at whatever they see. I warned them that even if one of those bullets touched my pumps, the whole place is gonna blow up. But they didn't listen. So the other night, as soon as I heard them shooting, I went out and I shot one of them in the ass. And that idiot ran away yelling like a little girl. <laughs> Good story. Stranger, this isn't a big city. This is how we take care of things around here. And the same goes for you. Give me crap and I'll turn your city ass into a calendar. Just point your gun at me once and I'll show you the difference between your old piece and my revolver. Huh. 
How does this camera out here work? What do you want to know? When I'm not talking to yokels, I dabble in photography. Huh. So, does that thing outside work or not? No. I only use it when the Bunyan Derby goes by. Bunyan Derby? What the hell is that? Every March the 3rd, a marathon comes by from Los Angeles. About 200 idiots for three months trudge along Route 66 to New York. When they go by, they all want a photograph to remember their achievement. So I bought that thing there. I need to take a photograph. This is a gas station, not a photographer's lab. You need a photograph? Do like everyone else does and go see old Elliot in town. That old half-wit will be more than happy to have a new customer. I need it now. And that's your problem, stranger. I have to go. Okay. That panel definitely powers up the photography set that's outside here. If I could get my hands on it, I could turn on that device. I'll take a few kernels of corn. I took the only kernels that aren't rotten. That's the wick. The gas cop. The tank's empty. One of the gas pumps is leaking. The pail is used to catch the leaking gas. What should I use with it? Even if there's only a few drops of kerosene, it should be enough to make the lamp work. Now it should light up without problems. Better put the pail back in case I need more kerosene. It's perfectly. This idea is so crazy that it might just work. Winchesters, here we go again. The lesson from the last time clearly wasn't enough. Hey, you! I know you're hiding in the cornfields. Get out here if you have any guts, you sons of bitches. I'll show you. Now that the yokel's gone, there's nothing stopping me from using this panel.
good. Now that it works, let's see if I can make it as a photographer. I take the photograph and cut it somehow. Before attaching the documents, I hesitate for a second. From now on, my name is John Fard. Sean McLean doesn't exist anymore. Sean McLean is dead. Then I make up my mind and I attach the damn photo. I don't have time to get all misty-eyed now. The documents should be fine now. I can finally get away from this place. Time to go. The car's headlights slice through the dark desolation of Essex County. I look for some landmarks to make the trip less boring, but I can't find anything. There's just darkness around me, and the car whizzes by in the middle of the road. I'm sorry for the harsh wake up, Del Nero, but Oscar and good manners never went hand in hand. I kind of figured that out. You must understand him. He's been out of the boxing world for too long. When he got diagnosed with a form of mutism, he was competing for the state's heavyweight title. Unfortunately, a rule doesn't allow people with his kind of problems to fight. So he had to continue in illegal joints. People there don't care much about rules. What they really care about is a good show. The first time I saw him fight, I immediately understood that that shabby ring under the stairs of a butcher shop wasn't the place for him, so I took him with me. From beating people up to killing them. That's a big career move, I'd say. <clears throat> Come on, Del Nero. We aren't an organization of killers. We follow an ideal. What ideals? You're just criminals in search of power. But power is an ideal, Del Nero. Our entire history was shaped by men who did great things in search of power. Do you really think that people like Julius Caesar or Napoleon did what they did for the sake of their people. Man was born to have power, and his entire existence is an expression of this desire. We study to get important jobs. We train to become stronger. We work at companies where we can move up the ladder. All this to have power. I bet that you spend hours in front of the mirror repeating this little speech. Del Nero, I just want you to see our reasons. And maybe avoid you ending up like that pathetic excuse for a man, Malone. Go to hell, you and your reasons. As you wish, Del Nero. I thought you were smarter, but if you don't plan on telling us anything if we use the carrot... Where is the girl? Check the nursery schools. They're full of girls. Why are you persisting in protecting a girl that has been entrusted to you by a man who's betrayed you in the past? I'm a sentimental guy. I can't help it. Del Nero, do you really want to die like your pal McLean? McLean? I didn't know he was dead. Del Nero, where's the girl? I don't have any girls with me. You're making me tired. I'm not going to ask you a second time. Where have you hid the girl? Oh. What is it, Cat got your tongue? When Oscar's done with you, that won't be a problem anymore. Edward, knock it off. This voice. I know this voice. It's Victoria. What the hell is she doing here? Now that the Good Samaritan has arrived, we're all here. Edward, you're disgusting. When this story is over, you'll answer directly to the bosses for your conduct. Victoria, how is it possible that she is mixed up in this story? It's impossible. This disgusting behavior is the only way to get your little friend to talk. It looks like he's having fun playing the tough guy. I told you that you wouldn't have gotten anything from him. So how do you plan to figure out where he hid the girl? Using a little intelligence and civility. Are you going to get him to tell you where he hid the girl just by asking pretty please? 
We don't need him to tell us. What do you mean? If, before you started leaning on him, you'd look in his pockets, you'd have figured out where the girl is. You know where she is? On the Lower East Side, in a small pub owned by a certain Greta Reed. Greta Reed? Dannazione. Greta's handkerchief. They must have figured out from that where the girl is. Greta's in danger. I have to do something, but I can't even talk. That beast has gone to town on me. Jack? Jack, can you hear me? I'm sorry about everything that's happened. I didn't want to put you in the middle of all this, but I didn't have a choice. That girl is too important to us. She has to go back to where she came from. Victoria, how could you? I'm sorry, Jack. I'd like to explain it all to you, but there is no time. As soon as we get out of the city, you and your friend will be freed. But don't try to follow us. I'm sorry things went this way. Goodbye, Jack. Victoria. Victoria. Edward, you and your ape can come with me. We have to load the cars. The plane is waiting for us. Hurry up. Plane? What plane? Victoria, where are you taking the girl? Del Nero. It looks like you got lucky this time. Your friend saved you just in time. But the next time we meet, I can't guarantee you'll be so lucky. Edward! Don't worry, good Samaritan. I won't do anything to him. Hurry up. We don't have time. It looks like we'll have to go now, Del Nero. Let Oscar say his goodbyes. Ah, oh, my head. I must have passed out for a while. Judging from the light filtering through the windows, it must be at least 6 a.m. Out there, the sun's rising. Some thugs with a love for archaeology are running away with a girl, and I'm stuck here, tied to a chair with a nose that looks like mush. I better figure out how to free myself. It's a steam engine. This steel beast must have some part in the alcohol distillation process. I don't see anything that could be useful here. There are some controls in here. to cut the tape that was tying my hands. Now I just have to figure out how to get out of here. Dannazione, my nose. It started to bleed again. If I don't want to pass out like a little girl, I better fix my nose as soon as possible. Given the situation, I don't think that Greta will be offended if I use her handkerchief to stop the bleeding. First, I need to disinfect it and find a way to keep it on my nose. If I want to use it to stop my nose from bleeding, I'd better disinfect it first. The gun isn't there. At least they left the most important thing. A drop of rye was just what I needed. It helped with my aching nose. But I still have to try to fix myself up as soon as possible. I won't get too far in this condition. Sean's rye will work perfectly as a disinfectant. 
can't spend all my time holding a handkerchief on my nose. I have to find a way to keep it on my nose. Tape will be perfect to keep the bandage on my nose. Yes, that should work now. Now it's better, but I doubt that the bandage will hold for long. I must get out of here as soon as possible. Hey, is anybody there? Hey, investigator! You in here? John, is that you? Who you want? Suddenly, I torn! How the hell did you get here? I look for you in Ellis Island, but you disappear. So I go back to your friend in club. You went to see Greta? Yes, your friend with the wet hairs. But when I get to joint, I see her and girl get in car with same guy I see in port. Dannazione. They already got them. I decide to follow the car here, but they stay no long. Man from the port met a woman and two guys. They talked something about ferry that was waiting, and they left. Do you know where they went? I don't know. They left half hour ago. Where are we? Oh, but you in my town! Chinatown! Can you find a way to get me out of here? No, only entrance at this shelter. I can no open. I'm going to go back to figuring out a way to get out of here. Okay. I'm sure that whoever set up this distillery also put in an emergency exit, just in case the police came. It's the distillation system. Sooner or later, I'll buy one for my office. Pretty strange thing to find in an illegal distillery. I was sure that there was some kind of a secret passage in here. Rusted hooks and ropes that have seen better days. I'll take one of the ropes. I took a couple. They could come in handy. It's so dark in here I can't even see the back of my hand. <laughs> 